Thank the gentleman. Uh, anyone else on this resolution? If not, Mr. Guthrie? Thank you. Oh, Thank Mr. you, Mr. Bilirakis. Chairman. I move to strike the last word. Mr. Bilirakis is recognized for five minutes. Thank you. I'd like to thank my good friend, uh, Mr. Latta, and of course, uh, our ranking member, Kathy McMorris Rogers, for working on this issue, this very serious issue. Uh, we need a war on fentanyl. It's as simple as that. Look at these beautiful faces. These beautiful faces. They were all victims to fentanyl. It's happening all over, all over the country, uh, in all communities, unfortunately. So uh, again, uh, thank you for offering the resolution, Mr. Latter, which asks for accountability from the Biden administration when it comes to combating the unprecedented fentanyl cri crisis that our nation is currently facing. Sadly, we continue to see an increase in overdose deaths, with the CDC estimating that over 107,000 Americans died of a drug overdose during the past year. Florida, in particular, saw alarming numbers with over 7,000 overdose deaths, the vast majority of which involved fentanyl. This is a far-reaching problem with far-reaching consequences, stretching as far as north, north of uh, Alaska, uh, which saw a 71, Alaska saw a 71% increase in overdose deaths. No state is safe from this crisis, uh, Mr. Chairman. All states have essentially become border states as we work to address the amounts of illicit fentanyl and fentanyl compounds that are flooding in from China and India into Mexico and then across the southern border. Currently, fentanyl overdose is the leading cause of death in the nation for individuals ages 18 to 45. Florida is tracking to surpass our already alarming 59% in overdose deaths due to fentanyl in 2020. It is very clear to me that it is tied to this administration's open border policies. Now we know that the issues of substance uh, abuse, uh, again, uh, substance use disorder and mental health are closely linked and have been very, and I've been very proud that I've worked in a bipartisan fashion with this committee uh, in, in, uh, to, to actually uh, make a big difference uh, in mental health and substance use disorders. So, but it is not enough. You know, we've got to attack this, this issue. Uh, whatever it takes, Mr. Chairman, whatever it takes. But it's not enough, and we need to see the Biden administration do more. I appreciate that they finally identified the severity of the impact that global illicit drug trafficking is having on the United States. That said, utilizing executive action to identify this problem in December of 2021 is not enough and falls extremely short, in my opinion. Recognizing that we need to address this crisis is simply step one. And I'm proud, I'm, I'm actually afraid to see, uh, to see it that it appears in the Biden administration, uh, well, they're just not doing enough. Uh, and identifying this as a problem grants President Biden unique authorities to address this national emergency and it is an emergency, it really is. It allows him to pursue both comprehensive and creative solutions. I would like to enter into the record a letter sent to President Biden on September 14th, led by the Attorney General of Florida, Ashley Moody, and the Attorney General of Connecticut, William Tong. They were joined by their colleagues from 16 other states and territories in requesting that fentanyl be classified as a weapon of mass destruction, that's what it is. It's a weapon of mass destruction. Recognizing the role of international bad actors in the trafficking and distribution of illicit fentanyl, it is time to take immediate action and swiftly utilize all levels of power to address the threat this drug poses on our nation. Now, if President Biden cannot or will not take action to address this problem, Congress certainly should in a bipartisan fashion. I know Republicans on this committee uh, are at the table prepared to pass the Halt All Lethal Trafficking of Fentanyl Act as soon as possible. We need to make the emergency class-wide scheduling of fentanyl-related substances permanent. I'm saddened that the overdose epidemic continues to get worse across our nation. And as we, we move forward, we must embrace a collaborative approach. 
We must work together to continue to address this epidemic, and we must learn more about the administration's plans or lack thereof to reduce the supply of fentanyl substances in our country. Every community in the United States is affected by this highly potent drug, which is being trafficked into our country, and there is no time to waste. Kids are dying, as the ranking member said. The time is now to act swiftly to protect American people from the threat that it poses. I urge my colleagues to move this resolution of inquiry forward, and, uh, and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, the members that seek uh, recognition? Mr. Guthrie? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I moved to strike the last word. I just want to use about a minute, and I'll